the Surgeon General of Florida, Dr. Joseph Ladapo, put out a warning that physicians and healthcare providers in, in this state should not use mRNA vaccines. The reason is that supposedly they were contaminated with DNA fragments that would then insert themselves into DNA and could cause cancers like leukemia or lymphoma or autoimmune diseases or other problems. So is it possible that despite purification and filtration that you're left with small amounts of fragmented DNA? Yes, you are. You have roughly a billionth of a gram, nanograms of this fragmented DNA. So could that DNA then affect your DNA? In order for that to happen, three things would have to occur, all of which are for the most part impossible. The first is that the DNA would have to enter your cytoplasm. Our cytoplasm has a variety of mechanisms, including innate immunological mechanisms and enzymes to destroy foreign DNA. Then that DNA, which would never survive the cytoplasm, would have to then cross the nuclear membrane into the nucleus, which would require a nuclear access signal that these DNA fragments don't have. Even if they entered the nucleus, which they can't, they would have to insert themselves into your DNA, which means they would have to cut your DNA which is, would require enzymes like integrases, which they also don't have. So the chance that DNA could affect your DNA is zero. You're exposed to foreign DNA all the time. One, you have trillions of bacteria living on your body, which is foreign DNA. Two, assuming you live on this planet and you eat animals or plants on this planet, you are ingesting foreign DNA, some of which enters your circulation, which has been proven. So scaring people unnecessarily like this has been hard to watch. Hopefully this has been reassuring.